Hello everyone, uh, Ori Bloop here. Welcome back to another Let's Build an RPG, uh, finally uh, episode 3. I know a lot of you guys have been uh, waiting about, you know, for, for quite a while now, uh, but it's finally here. I finally, um, you know, thought of exactly what I want to do uh, chronologically to make each episode seem like, you know, you're getting a lot of um, information out of them. But um, today, uh, in today's episode, we're going to be actually focusing on um, fixing some of the elements in the game. And uh, we're going to be adding a sword, like a functioning sword. And we're going to be adding a uh, an enemy death. So basically, we'll be able to kill this little green dude. And um, we're also going to be adding our first animation uh, to our, our custom character. Uh, but let's go ahead and um, let's le leave off where we were at uh, episode two. So um, in episode two, we made uh, this HP bar. And basically, if we go up to this green dude, uh, you could see that we uh, lose 25 and then 25 again, 25. And then if we hit him one more time, We'll reach zero and basically the game restarts um so basically we're going to actually uh be able to kill this guy um after the end of this tutorial but let's go ahead and fix some of the issues that um you guys were talking about in uh episode two so if we go to edit uh, the first thing I wanted to actually show you actually let me go back into play mode um if you guys can see we have this white uh, line right here around our whole uh, character's head. Um, same with our green dude right here. Um, you can see like the lightish uh, lime green around. Um, some of you have pointed out that it's actually really easy uh, to remove the um, under part. All you have to do is uh, go into edit and for the head of our cylinder, um, go to settings and we just have to turn off uh, visible. And the reason why uh, that works is because uh, our texture is masking the entire object. So it's basically giving it a, a new color. And then um, same with our green dude. So if we go ahead and go into the object and into the settings, we can go ahead and make it invisible. So now if we go ahead and look in the game, it looks a lot more polished. Like if you look at our head, you can actually, um, you know, it looks clean it looks super clean and then also our green dude over here um it looks super super nice um and i think that is a really good fix so thank you guys for uh pointing that out and for the second fix uh people were saying how it's uh, my button mapping uh is really weird so i'm gonna actually change that so for jump uh people really wanted uh the jump to be a because i guess that's a traditional uh button so we're going to go into settings and we're just going to change this R to A. And then um, since our A is sprint, we're going to just make sprint X. So if we go to settings and then just make that X and turn off A. So now if we go ahead and look in the game, we can now go ahead and jump with A. And then we can continue to sprint with X. Um, and now the last fix that I wanted to talk about is uh, our health right here. So um, originally, uh, if you see, uh, you probably already see the error, but um, I put 100 uh, in front of 75, which doesn't make sense. Um, it should be 75, um, you know, in front of the 100. So it's 75 out of 100 um, health. So we're going to actually go ahead and um, change that real quick. Uh, the way I change this is really easy. I'll, I'll show you guys. So um, I'm just going to basically switch these numbers. I did with the other ones already, so um, you guys don't have to watch the me doing all of them. But um, over here, I'm just going to put 100. And then um, on the other side, I'm just going to put 75. So the way I do my fives, it looks a little bit scrunched, but um, we're working with a small space here. So, um, And then the sevens, um, it's a little bit too big. For the seven just like that and there we go so now if we go ahead and look back in the game uh we have 100 out of 100 75 out of 100 50 out of 100 25 out of 100 and then zero out of 100. um basically i just did what i did right there to all of these which is really easy to do just gotta switch them around um but that's what i did and I think that's pretty much for the fixes right now. 
Um, oh yeah, so I know a lot of you guys were mentioning to add hair um, to our character, um, but I'm not going to add that yet because um, I'm planning on uh, being able to purchase custom hair um, in the game later on, so um, I'm not going to add that yet. Um, and also, uh, I guess a lot of you guys said uh, for the character's name, him to be Tim. Um, I'll, I'll go with that. Uh, so the character's name is Tim. So let's go ahead and start adding the new stuff to Tim. So if we go into the settings, let's go ahead and make our, um, sword. So for the first part of the sword, we're going to go to objects, simple objects and box. Um, for this box, I have the specific dimensions for it. So I'm just going to go to, um, settings. I'm going to just turn off destructive, destructible, um, we'll leave on visible, we can turn off solid, and make sure movable is on, because we won't be able to move our character then, um, so make sure that's on. Uh, for size, we're going to just do uh, 0.20, and then for Y, we're going to do 0.10, and then Z is also 0.10. So now if we go ahead and uh, we just have to connect it to our uh, our body right here, so... Um, if you guys can see, this is our uh, bottom part, and then this is our head. Um, and if we could look in the game real quick. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I almost forgot. For the connection point, um, go ahead and do uh, X plus and um, X minus. Just like that. And now if you look in the game, um, we see this uh, little box on our side. Uh, basically, that's where our uh, sword is going to be connecting to. So if we go back into edit, uh, the way we're going to actually uh, make the sword uh, move up and down is with a hinge connector. Um, so we're going to go to objects, connection, and we're going to grab a hinge connector. And since we are moving on the X axis, we're going to obviously need an X hinge. We can scale that down a little bit and move it right over here. And we can directly connect it to our little box. Um, the way the hinge connector works is you have to have um, another um, object connected to another object. So we're going to go ahead and go into objects and we're going to actually make our um, sword object. So go to objects, simple objects and get a box and we'll go into the settings for this box. So uh, let me go into settings. And then for uh, this, we're going to just turn off destructive, destructible, make sure it's visible and we'll turn off, uh, actually we'll leave solid on for right now. Um, for size, we're going to go ahead and change it to uh, 0.10. Y is going to be 1.10. This is going to be the long part. And then Z is 0.50, just like that. And for the connection point, uh, we'll just leave it as is because it will be uh, resting on top of the... Uh, previous box so now all we have to do is connect our sword to our hinge so basically if we go into the game um, you see that it looks a little bit janky right now um, and it's not really uh, functioning properly but um, let's go ahead and add the uh, mechanic where we could uh, press ZR and it will basically move the sword uh, either up or down so Let's go ahead and do that right now. So if we go to input, button press, we're going to go ahead and grab ZR. Of course, you guys can map it to whatever button you want. Um, and then once we grab ZR, uh, what we're going to be doing is the way the hinge works is it works basically on which input you give it, if that makes sense. Um, so if you give it a input of 90, it will turn 90. Um, so what we're going to do is go to input and then constant. Um, but since we're working actually in front of the uh, negative Z axis, we're going to actually have to do um, negative 90. So I'm going to go ahead and do uh, negative 90. So it will basically hinge right in front of us, um, just like how if you were to swing a sword in front of you. Um, and then the way to do this is uh, since our button uh, gives an output of uh, just 1.00. Um, we just need to times it so that it gives off the uh, output of negative 90. Um, so it will basically just be 1 times negative 90. So if we go to middle and we just get calculate and then the times, um, all this will do is 
basically give our output a negative 90 um, when we touch the uh, when, when, yeah when we press the ZR button and then for the out the result all we have to do is connect it to the hinge connector and if we go ahead and look in the game um, you can see that our um, sword is always in the upright position that's because it's not being um, triggered but if we push ZR there we go the uh, the sword function should work so basically it should be um, swinging right in front of you with no problem and so now all we have to do is pretty much um, add our uh, sword texture so if we go and grab the sword um, I have it right over here sorry about that cut everyone um, I realized that I did not make a sword texture yet but um, now I did so uh, all you have to do is go ahead and grab the uh, sword texture um, before we actually connect it to the uh, the object um, if we go ahead and look into it um, you can see that the texture face is on uh, the X center so that's basically facing um, on the side of our character that's what we want and um, I basically uh, made this sword really easily. Um, you guys could probably easily do this. Um, and I moved it a little bit to the right just because I think it looks a little bit better to the right. Um, and for the size, it's 0.80 and the Y is uh, 1.10. Uh, but if we go ahead and move our sword um, over next to our um, object right over here, all we have to do is go ahead and connect it. Um, but if we go ahead and look in the game real quick, um, you guys can see that it actually uh, went ahead and just worked like that. Um, you have to make sure to uh, turn off visible because uh, if you guys have uh, visible on, then it will just still look like uh, this white box. But um, let me go ahead and turn off uh, visible again. And then also you can go ahead and just turn off visible for our um, uh, other object. The first object that we made, uh, just turn that invisible as well. And if we go ahead and look, we have a uh, perfectly good looking sword. And then if we press ZR, it actually functions. Um, the only problem is that um, 90, it looks a little bit um, like unnatural a little bit for me. So I'm going to go ahead and make it uh, like negative 100. Let me go ahead and see what that looks like. You guys, of course, can mess around with it just to see um, what works best for you. Um, but if we go ahead and look. Uh, we can go and see that it looks more down and that's what I want. I just wanted it to have more of a natural look to it. Uh, but right now, if we go ahead and go to our enemy, uh, nothing will really happen. It will just kind of, you know, <laughs> it won't do anything. So uh, we can go ahead and uh, make that work right now. So all we have to do is for this object um, or for our sword object, we're going to go to settings and we're going to make it uh, destructive towards cylinders and then um, for our uh, little green dude uh, we're going to go ahead and go into the settings for it and then make it destructible from boxes um, and so what that should do is when we go ahead and uh, press ZR with our sword it should kill it and there we go just like that um, of course, if you guys saw like the breaking block animation, you can actually go ahead and change the color of that. So if you wanted it to maybe look like blood, um, go into the settings for color, change it to like red, and then there you go. You have some blood. So let me go ahead and go up to it. There we go. Uh, so you basically killed it and um, there's blood that came from it. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it for the uh, sword aspect of it. Now let's go ahead and add the animation when we swing our sword. Um, so if we go into the uh, edit mode real quick, um, I have a texture over here. You guys probably saw it in the uh, play mode. But if we go ahead and look in the settings, um, it's basically just a mean like looking uh, Tim, you know, and then for the texture face, it is just Z uh, negative. And all we have to do is we have to do a little bit of a, a mechanic first. So uh, what we could do first is go ahead and connect it directly to our uh, cylinder, uh, which is our head. But if we go ahead and look in the play mode right now, uh, nothing will happen and we'll keep our normal face. So we need to make a system that when we are pressing ZR, it switches to this face. So if we go ahead and connect the visible to ZR, 
um, you'll see a little a bit of an error. Uh, basically, it doesn't show our uh, current one, but when we press ZR, it will show the mean face. So we also need to go ahead and get a not um, logic. So uh, go to logic and grab the not. And all you have to do is, um, this is going to look a little bit messy, but um, go ahead and grab the not from the ZR. Uh, go ahead and put it in the input. And then for the output of the knot, we're going to go ahead and just connect it to our normal looking face. So what, what happened with like, basically what's happening here is, uh, when we press ZR, it will, uh, trigger this and then it will give, uh, a zero to basically the normal looking face. And since we press ZR, it's going to trigger and make this face visible. So if we go back into the play mode, you can see that our face is uh, back to normal. But when we press ZR or when we basically draw the sword, um, it will switch to our um, animation. And it actually looks pretty good. Um, and of course, we can go up to our little green dude and just whack him like that. And it looks pretty natural. Um... I think, honestly, that is pretty much it for um, this tutorial. Um, I, I Hopefully, I covered quite a bit, but um, I actually have the next uh, Let's Build an RPG tutorial coming out soon. Um, I'm hoping to uh, basically make our uh, little green dude uh, have some AI so that when we're in proximity, it will come and chase us, and basically, we'll have to defend ourselves with our sword. Um, but I, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess one thing I wanted to touch on is uh, if you guys have any other ideas of what you want me to implement in this game, uh, go ahead and just send them, you know, because I'm, I'm just adding anything at this point. So um, just comment whatever you want to see in this game, and I will probably most likely do it. So just go ahead and send it. Um, but I think that pretty much covers everything. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave it a like and uh, give me some feedback, you know, give me any sort of feedback on, uh, you know, this sort of series and how it's going so far. But uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in another one. Bye bye.